Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. And on this video, we're going to be doing part six of the Django documentation series. And this is going to be a little bit fun. It's going to be a little bit funner than the other ones. We're going to learn about images and, and how to insert things like JavaScript, CSS, and etc. to make your website actually look even better. So let's get ready to code. This is where we left off. So we're going to clear the screen. I'm going to delete some of this stuff here. Okay, let's write our first Django app with some HTML and beautiful CSS and images. Aside from HTML generated by the server, a web application generally need to serve additional files such as images, JavaScript, or CSS. All these are very necessary uh, to render a complete web page. Just imagine if you have a web page with no images, and JavaScript or CSS. Actually, there's, there's a few websites like that, but nowadays, I don't think you want it to be like that. We refer to those files as static files. Static files, that's what they're called, static files. For a small project, it isn't a big deal because you can keep those static files somewhere in your web server. Like uh, a bigger project that has multiple apps. Uh, dealing with a multiple set of static files provides by each application starts to get tricky. That's what Django contrib static file is for. So we're going to find it, what it is. So we're gonna go over here, right here. This is this tells us where our static URL is, but we're going to find Django contrib. Here it is. This application here takes care of basically what we just spoke about. Um, it collects static files from each of your application into a single location that can easily be served in production. So it's going to collect all your static files for you and it's gonna put it in one place for you. And that makes it much more easier instead of you having it like all over the place. So now let's customize our little application here to make it look a little bit better. So now we're gonna go, we're going to go to our polls folder and we're going to create a directory called static 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 static. There you go. And inside the static folder, we're going to create a directory called polls. It'll look like that. And inside the polls, then we can create our style, style, that CSS folder. Perfect. And this is our static that CSS folder. And we're going to uh, write a little bit of CSS. Make sure to actually go around and figure out how to how CSS works. And once you figure it out, then uh, with CSS, you can actually make your website look very, very good. And the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna to go to the poll, templates, polls, index, poll, templates, polls, index page. And this is our index page. And what you want is now, we wanna load the static files. There's a template, um, Django has these template tags. You can actually write, so this one called this called load load static, and that's what we're going to do. Load static is basically going to load the static file. It's going to load this all the beautiful stuff that's here, and then we're going to create a link so that it appears. This link gives you basically the HTML version of it, like um, so it renders. It doesn't render, but this is the link to it. This is the link to this file. So it tells you it loads the static and then once once it loads the static, it gives you like the URL to uh, where the files are or the location of where the files are. And now let's run our server. Okay, let's go back. This is our last result. We gotta go to polls. As you can see, if you take a look, Edit. 
it is now green so let's change the color again let's go to styles at css uh all the links let's change it to blue enter let's save now let's go back to chrome browser refresh now it's blue so this is how you can style your page to make your page look amazing so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a background image to the body so poles over here this is going to the body body and then inside the body I'm going to put the background color uh, let's see let's try this crimson let's try crimson so the body we're going to style the body and we're going to change it into crimson so it should work and there you go guys we're styling our beautiful website we can also have the background image but we're gonna go to google and we're going to find a background image so a website background man the dark theme is now available amazing so um, wow look at these beautiful backgrounds let's grab something like what are you building yeah a pose yeah this looks like yeah this looks like the one so open image okay perfect we're going to save image save image yes save we save their image so now what we're going to do is we're going to have to uh, we're, we'll, we'll have to put our image like around here so I'm gonna go into the files or the folder and I'm going to put the image in there and it's going to appear Let's see seven New York back copy no let me see if I can drag and drop it here there you go there's our image so now we gotta give our application we gotta give our application the link the link to the image so and in order for us to get our this is a URL take this off here the URL to our background the URL to our background is going to be where is this location here this file here so we're going to take the name okay rename now what's the name of it I'm struggling copy path is too long so basically since it's in the same folder we can just you can pretty much just I believe you can pretty much just write this this way and let's go ahead and take a look at our application and see if it it works no it did not work because we cannot see our background the reason why we cannot see our background because we have to say background. Let's take a look at our Chrome. And there you go, guys. There is a background. It's beautiful. It's amazing. So basically, this is how Django helps you uh, collect your static files and it helps you make it makes you it makes it more easier for you to collect your static files and in order for you to use them 
with things like images, CSS, JavaScript, etc., etc., uh, there's actually something inside of Django that will um, do it for you. So this was also a short tutorial, but this is, is also something that you can get deeply into, and we're going to get deeply into it once you start building a bigger project. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.